For this project, you're gonna need a cardboard tube. You're gonna need some aluminum foil. You'll need some masking tape or, well, any kind of tape will do, but masking tape works the best. You'll need some glue or a glue stick, a pencil, scissor, some type of a dowel or stick. This is a chopstick um, that you can wrap the foil around, a ruler and markers or crayons or possibly paint, whatever you have for decoration. And that, are the, those are the materials. So gather those things together and then let's get started. So if you don't have a paper towel roll, what I did is I took another paper towel roll here and I taped the ends together and then I'm just gonna transfer very carefully the paper towel on the other roll. That way you can get to the cardboard. Ah, done at last. Well, I didn't say it would be pretty, but it works. So you're gonna take the aluminum foil, and this is an extra wide uh, container of foil. So I'm gonna pull out about 12, 13 inches, a little bit longer than a ruler, and just tear that off. Now, if you have a narrower one, I would do an 18 inch piece um, of aluminum foil. And so then on the longest side, you're gonna just gently roll it up, sort of crinkling it, just like that. Don't push it too much. You can always do that at the end. I'm just rolling it up. There we go. And then give it a little squish. Now it's going to be longer than your tube, that's okay. Because what we're gonna do is we're going to make the spines of the cactus. Well, it's not really a cactus, but we're going to just take this and wrap it around a stick. Now you could do this around a pencil if you like, but when you're done, it should be the length of the tube. So you can kind of pull it out a little bit so that it'll fit right in there. And then just slide it right in. That's what the seeds or the popcorn or rice or pebbles that you put in here um, are gonna be, are, are gonna um, hit against and that will make the sound. Then take some masking tape. I like to use the blue tape because it looks nice when it's done. I don't have to do anything to it. And I'm just gonna cut a piece and then I'm gonna, without, touching it too much because that loses its stickiness. I'm just gonna cut down the middle. And I don't put a wide piece on here because it won't lay down very well. This is a circular shape and we don't want it, the tape sticking up in weird places. We want it to lay flat. So I'm just gonna make a crisscross like that. And I'm gonna repeat that again. Now there's still some holes that aren't covered, so I'm gonna do this whole thing again, but this time I'm gonna cover all those holes. Once you get all the holes covered, then just rub it a little bit and take another piece, about six or seven inches, and wrap it right near the edge. Rub it down really good. And then your aluminum foil goes inside there. Now comes the fun part. You get to figure out what you wanna put inside your rain stick. Now you could use rice, you could use what I used, I used some popcorn, or you could go collect some pebbles outside. Um, be creative with this, I don't know, maybe beads or look around the house. 
Um, so I'm gonna just pour in about half a cup. And you can you can add more. I wouldn't add less than that though. You could add more than that. Just experiment, see how it sounds. But then you just pour it right in. And I got all my tape ready. And then seal it up. Well, I'm gonna see what it sounds like first. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yep, I think I got enough. Okay. Crisscross it. Oh, but we're not done yet. We're gonna decorate it. So when you're ready to decorate your rain stick, I just have a piece of printer paper here and I'm going to measure how much I need to cover the roll. So I'm just going to roll it up just like that. I'm gonna make sure it overlaps a little bit and then I'll make a mark, maybe about just a half inch right there. And then I'll make a mark right there so I know how much paper to cut off. I want to cut this nice and straight. So I'm going to take a ruler and measure. That is about two and a half inches. So I'm just going to make a mark right there. It's close enough. And down here, two and a half inches. And then I line my ruler with the top notch and the bottom notch so I know that I make the line parallel to the edge of the paper. And remember, when you're measuring, you always have to line up the edge of the ruler with the edge of the paper so that you get an equal measurement at the bottom and at the top. Then you can cut right on that line. Now you can decorate this piece of paper however you want, but make sure that it's creative, that it's original, that it has um, line shape color, and it's interesting to look at. Remember, this is an art class. Don't scribble color neatly. You can use markers, you can use paint, however you want to decorate it. So once you have your design colored, and make sure you fill the whole space, then you're gonna to wanna to transfer it on, or glue it onto the rain stick. So you could take a glue stick and just cover the whole thing, but you'd probably use up your whole glue stick. Um, what I like to do here, or what I'm gonna do, is to I'm gonna put some glue in a cup. I'm gonna just add a little bit of water and then it'll make it real brushable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just, let's see, you might have to play around with the consistency a little bit. Now, if you don't have a brush, you can do it with your finger, I suppose, but I'm gonna get this whole thing wet with glue. Then, I'm gonna just roll this around nice and tight and then on the very end run some glue along the edge and make sure that's sticking down really well okay really rub the it might get a little wrinkly but that it should smooth out once it dries. And the ends, the ends look okay. I like the blue tape. If you just have regular tape, you might want to take some marker and, and color that in. But if, if it's a regular water-based marker, it's not going to work. You'd have to use a, a permanent marker or Sharpie. And I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to do some yarn garnishing 
just for a little bit more decoration and to add some texture. So I have some yarn, and if you don't have yarn, you could use embroidery floss or you could skip this part altogether, but I think it looks really kind of neat with a little fringe on it. So I'm just measuring uh, 24 inches. I'm gonna cut that. Okay. And I'm gonna twist it. Now I need some tape. You can use any type of tape, or you could have somebody hold this for you, but if no one's available, then what you do is you just twist it. You have to roll it in your hands. I think we might have done this in second grade, um, where you just twist it by rolling it um, over and over again until the twist gets really tight. Okay, when, that, when it's twisted pretty tight, then you just fold it in half. I'm going to untape it, fold it in half, don't let it go, and then just let it, let it twist around itself, sort of smooth it out. Now you get this really cool looking rope, and I'm going to take it and just tie it in a knot. I'm going to do a square knot. And then I'll cut that loop. And now you have a little fringe there. Cut it even. And there's your end step. Now here's something to think about. What if, instead of just using one tube, you used two tubes and doubled it? I'd use a toilet paper roll. I'd cut the toilet paper roll down the middle. And when you put the two together, now you'd have to do this when you were making it. You would put the other one like this and then tape this up real good because then you'd have a double long one. So if you're looking for a challenge and you have some extra tube rolls, you could make a really long one because this one doesn't last that long as far as you have to, it's just a very short little rainstorm. But if you want a longer one, because usually they're long, a lot longer than, than just the, what is that, 12 inches? And it's 11 inches, yeah. Um, then they, they play a little bit longer, but you'd have to do double the tin foil and double the, um, the decorations, but it would be really cool to have that. To decorate the larger rain stick, cut two sheets of paper and tape them together, lining them up and putting tape on the inside. Turn it over and then do your design. So I finished my extra long rain stick and I wanted to show it to you. I haven't added yarn yet, but I will. And this is what it sounds like. When you're done with yours, you can either take a photograph of it or you can post it um, as a video in Artsonia. Artsonia lets you put videos in there too. So have a great time doing this. I can't wait to see your work and we'll see you later. Bye.